This swimming pool looked like it was in a prison cell with a cage-like fence. So we're going to free it up with a new and very stylish fence that will totally transform this backyard. It's nearly time for the panels, but first I've got to get rid of the old fence. Now, when you're using an angle grinder, it throws out sparks. And if you hit glass or stainless steel, it can burn into it. So over the top with a black plastic pot, take out a couple of panels at a time, and then actually remove the plants, bring the soil in, and then do the glass. If you get the step-by-step -step process right, you'll get the job done quicker and easier. These panels don't have to end up in a skip bin. They're in high demand. I reckon they're fantastic. When you put a couple of posts on them, this way, and they're great for climbing your peas up. Put them out the front, put them on line, but don't throw them away. Finally, we're up to the glass. Now, it's important to remember that a pool fence has to be a minimum of 1,200 mil high. So that figure there will never change. But your length, you can get it anywhere from 300 mil to 1,300 mil long. So you can buy different sizes to make up any different length. This little bad boy weighs 47 kilos, so it's definitely a two-man job. And when you take it out of the cardboard, a little tip, I tape on the corners. That way, they can never fall off and you won't chip them. Soapy water helps the glass go into the feet nice and smoothly because you can imagine it is a very snug fit. Now, when you put the next panel in, you want to make sure the gap between each one is no greater than 100 mil. And on the packaging, they recommend that you aim for about 50 mil. Why? Because it looks good. Now, all the glass is in place, but it's just sitting there. And if you have a look at this, you can see that I'm a couple of mil out. So, when you get the glass, you get the little packers. I've cut some down that I can slide underneath it. I'm going to raise that up and then tighten it off. So the only two pieces of glass that aren't interchangeable is the gate and the panel that the gate hangs off because they've got holes in it specifically made for the hinges. The panel that you hit over that side doesn't have to have holes in it, so it can be any length. But the gates are at set heights and lengths. If you look at this little latch system compared to other ones that are up here and you've got to pull holes, you might think it's not as safe because it's low. But when you take the 1,200 of the fence and then the 300 mil down, it's exactly the same as a kid reaching out 1,500. But you've got it in this tiny, sexy looking little unit. And a pool gate has to be self-closing. So test it from all different distances. And I reckon the quicker it closes, the better. We're going to wind the spring up. Plants failing around pools are probably one of my most asked questions. Well, I reckon it's pretty simple. For starters, you pick things that are low set so you can see into the pool, especially with a beautiful glass fence like this. And you pick tough, hardy plants. Not like cactuses and succulents, because you're going to be throwing balls, kids are going to be running around. At my joint, with Danny running everywhere, they would get smashed and they'd never recover. Most people think plants die because of the chlorine or because of the salt. The reality is they're probably dying because it's a really hot, dry spot with a reflection from the pool every day drying out the foliage. So what have we got here? We've got a little potostrum called hole-in-one, a New Zealand rock lily. That's probably the most delicate out of all the plants here. Bromeliads, Indian hawthorn, flax and xanadus. The best thing about all of these, they can handle a little bit of bashing from a ball or from a dog. They're low set and they're pretty much drought tolerant plants. Perfect for where we're planting. How good does it look? The pool has been freed from the prison cell that was the old fence and replaced with this, a thing of beauty. You just want to touch it, open it, it's all class, and I think it's a lot of value for your property for the money you spend. The problem is we normally show the afters, the big glory shots of what we've done on the day, but you can't see this fence. So now you notice a pool that looks like it's been renovated, gardens that are beautiful, connecting this space with the backyard, making it one big area that you just want to spend time in. This is far too sophisticated and classy for me. Normally, I'd lower the bar, ham it up and jump in the pool. But I want to leave on a high note. So go to the next story and I'll make a fool of myself in private.